Well, we've seen around the world how less emissions from cars, buses, and other vehicles is improving air quality. Meteorologist Ashley DiMartino lets us know when we'll start to see improvement in our air quality locally. The valley's air quality can be a little all over the place this time of year due to all of the different particulates that we have in the air. But we wanted to know, with more people staying home and less traffic on the roads, is our air quality improving here in the valley? Traffic on our valley roads is at high volume at all times, thanks to the millions of people who call the valley home. But with the stay at home order, fewer of us are driving to work, school or other activities. And we've noticed some interesting trends out there. The biggest one is NO2 is actually a little bit lower. And that's typically what we'd expect with less traffic, less emissions uh, coming out of vehicles. ADEQ is analyzing the information their EPA models are collecting and have seen a 37% drop in nitrogen oxides between March 16th and March 22nd of this year compared to last year. The pattern is following that of when the recession hit the valley a few years ago. 2008, 2009, we did actually see about a five part per million drop in ozone. So it's very possible that we could see those results once again if we do continue to see that reduction in traffic. ADEQ is also having to look at... The trip lately has been trying to tease out the difference of the decrease in pollution because of emissions being lower and the decrease in emissions because of the weather just being more active. This past March was very active, the 10th wettest on record. Our weather patterns throughout the year affect our air quality. In our summer heat... That sunlight and that heat uh, 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 interacts with the, some of the tailpipe emissions and other emissions and creates ozone near the surface of the ground. And in the winter... We tend to have a lot of inversions where we have the... Uh, the cold air trap near the ground and so all of those tailpipe emissions and other kinds of pollutants are kind of stuck. Which creates that brown cloud over the valley. April is the time of year we start to see our unhealthy air quality ramp up. What we are expecting as we head in towards later in April and the weather pattern calms down a little bit. But ADEQ cautions that an immediate cleanup of our air isn't going to happen overnight. It will take time for the environment to catch up. For Arizona's family, I'm meteorologist Ashley DiMartino.